Lynn Rivers with Victor Earl. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Um, this video is dedicated to all my Irish peeps. Yeah, know who you are. Um, if you want to see the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection, how they worked, how they went on, and to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Anybody want some Scooby snacks? I know I do. I am so excited to play with a little bit more Glam Light. Thank you to my friend Martha. We are going to be playing with the Scooby-Doo palette. So this is the Roll -ro Reggae um, <laughs> 10 shade palette from Glam Light. It is so nice here. This is like um, like a bossy, so it sticks up. It's got a beautiful little vibe. Though it does have a little bit of a spooky vibe because you know they're going to be solving some kind of murder mystery or something. But um, since today, or the day that I post this, it is St. Patty's Day. This would be a great palette to use. And here we go. A look at this color story. It's some greens and purples, which I like the layout with the mattes on the bottom, the shimmers on the top, and then the shimmers corresponding with the mattes down below. I think that is great. Of course, we have the little mirror here, and then we've got our little villain right there. And then, uh, yeah, and then we've got our little case here, which they've numbered the shades. And of course, I'm going to leave the protection on the palette because this is a loner. So we're going to do this. Martha also managed to get the Scooby-Doo highlighter from Glam Light. And I had a chance to swatch these babies already. And ooh, look at it. It's got just like the Chucky one does, has this bad guys, good guys, bad guys, good guys. And then it is these beautiful two here. Also has a mirror, so Scooby-Doo. And then this one has like this nice green tinge. And you know, I am addicted to green like highlighters. And then this one is like a pinky, pinky shifting one. And this one has a little bit of pink in there too. It's quite interesting. So we will put those on after. And uh, so let's play with this palette, do a little bit of, I guess, well, I don't know how St. Patty's is gonna be, but it's gonna have some green in there. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna, of course, go with our Rumor 2 P. Louise primer, which is my my happy primer of late, though I'm still getting, in, I'm still annoyed about this broken tip. So I was gonna be careful when I put it on there because I don't wanna break it totally off. That would be terrible. I'm gonna grab my favorite, one of my favorite mirrors because it has a close-up mirror on one side from Odin's eye, and here we are. I don't ever bought too many mirrors from brands and stuff, though the um, one from Unearthly Cosmetics I really wanted. But this one I liked because it had the close-up mirror on one side. And the only other one that I ever bought that was a brand mirror, and it was because it was just plain awesome, was this one from Melt from the um, more e Mariposa collection. I thought it was so pretty. The only thing that it needed was it to be a close-up mirror for me, but for doing other stuff, it is just fine. So does anybody else have anything planned for St. Patty's Day? The traditional green beer, the um, green shake at McDonald's, I don't know. Um, I'm working through the day. I don't think I'm going to do anything on the evening. I've got a tattoo touch-up on Saturday and a few other things to do. So it's going to be a running around kind of Saturday and then hopefully Sunday I can do chores, relax, and maybe work on sewing a skirt. So that's kind of my weekend plans. I don't think there's going to be any green beer. And definitely no McDonald's green shakes. Though I did like those when I was a kid. Um, now I don't do dairy, but if they made a non-dairy version, would I try it? Of course I would. So there we go. We are all primed and ready. Um, let's see. I am again going to use a little bit of my fun Sephora tape. Instead of doing a rounded look, let's go do another pointed look. I'm going to see how many colors we can get here. Because green and purple look great together. So I think that's quite the good comp. Population. Really enjoyed playing with that Chucky palette. Um, I didn't really have a plan on that one, so 
it was a surprise to play with it, but I will, I, I may do another video with it now that I kind of have a little bit more feel for that palette. I may do a second look, but for now, let's play with Scooby-Doo. I liked Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. I watched, it was definitely from when I was a child. It was one of the main cartoons that was on, though I think I was a little bit more of a Josie and, a, <laughs> Josie and the Pussycats fan, but here we are. Um, so what did we want to do here? Again, these are the color stories here. We're doing some green for St. Patty's, but we definitely do want to add a, a little bit of the blue up blue. So I think we're going to start with these green shades. I might do um, this one and this one, and then a little of that shimmer on top and then maybe for the ins for the inner corner do a little bit of this and one of these shimmers we will see so we want to do it mostly a green look but those purples are so pretty so i may want to do one of those so i'm going to use the other half of brushes i used for my other look um some unit brushes and some brushes for from Suba Beauty, so I'm gonna use the other half that I didn't use today. Nice clean brushes, and then I think then I can clean them all in one go. All right, so we're gonna go into this dark shade. They're just numbered. I didn't see any names on anything, so this would just end up being shade number six. There's 12 shades in the palette. Oh, hold on, I was looking at the, I went to the purples green so we're going to start with shade 12. <laughs> so grade 12 and do the darkest first just like with the checky palette there is a little bit of kick up but it is very easy to pick up we want to see how this goes because we noticed that this one swatched way better than the checky did when we tested whoa is, is that a, i thought this was a green is this a black oh maybe i should have swatched these hey it's a black. All right, nope, that's good. We will keep it. We will do a black outer edge here. I just won't bring it in as far. Or is it a green? I can't tell. It's so dark that well, maybe this is a super duper dark green, but it's almost black. Wow, that is very green, dark green. Whoa, all right. Yeah, I was shocked about how dark this is. That it uh, could have swore it was a black. Well, there we go. You're not going anywhere. I suppose I could I could have done a green eye and a purple eye, but for fun, I'm just going to do this. So yeah, this one has a nice. To it so wow yeah these are very pigmented so I can see why everybody is really um, into glam light I am glad though that I mean they're still doing a lot of stuff with food but I'm glad they're staying they're not always doing crazy shaped and just food related things I kind of dig in these uh, collabs as well here it's a little bit more my speed than food palettes I think but if the quality is for of those other palettes the same as these, I guess I was originally missing out, hey? So yeah, no, that is green. Wow, that is just like so dark. I just see it a little bit better on this side than on this side, but wow. That is something else. So I'm just gonna go grab a slightly fluffier brush and then I just want to blendy blendy a little bit, I think. There we go. So we're gonna put another color over top. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. So that way I can use a little bit more color. So we're just gonna go and I guess, so we're just gonna go into a shade 11, which is the other darker, I guess that would be the mid green out of the three. And I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush here. So then we're gonna go into shade 11. Well, at least counting shade is easier. I need to wear glasses to do that. And then I'm going to add a little 
on top here. You may need a sponge to end up pointing this corner out a little bit again, but wow, these are really nice greens. Yeah, I was really excited when I saw this. This was definitely one where I was like, damn, I'm gonna know by why. little smidge more and then I'm gonna do a little blendy blendy with the fluffy brush again not adding any more color just okay, you can always retouch more but I just want to get this nice and blended there we go all right so next up we're gonna go into a shade of 10 I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use no I'm gonna save that one for shimmers yes midi fluffy brush here and we're going to go into 11 which is this it's a cross between a grungy green and a bright green and then we're going to go and yeah the, the the mid green didn't have as much kick up as the dark and then this one here so then we're just going to go and Oh, that's really pretty. Let's place it there, and then I'm going to take a small brush and then bring that along the top as well. It's really pretty. I see you, Glam Light. I see you. And I'm not seeing a lot of fallout either, so that is great. a beautiful sunny day today. I started early work so I could finish work early so I can a, enjoy the good weather and pop on some makeup. All right, so I'm going to take a, I'm going to use one of the, the other smallish one I used before, clean it up and then just grab a little bit. Just Yeah, I'll end up with a sponge bringing the shape back over there. But for now, again, trusting the process. And then just a smidge more here. And again, I will blend. Yeah, so then we can just end up bringing that, cleaning that up there, and then cleaning there a little bit. Oh, a teeny bit of fallout, but that could have been more from taking this off, but not too bad. Not too bad for such a dark color, right? So now that I can see that, maybe if I take, do I have a pointy, more pointy brush? Molly brush. Oh yes, I'm gonna take. Ooh, I don't know how this one got in there, but a teeny weeny liner brush has popped in there. So I'm gonna go into a shade 10 again, the lightest green. I'm gonna see if I can bring a shade up there. Okay, I still want to do a little bit of cleanup. I'm gonna go into that super super dark green and then just quickly add a teeny bit right on top into the hairline and then the same on the other side. Should have took a bigger piece of tape, but here we are. Okay, so there we go, look at that. So, now we're gonna look into some of, a little bit of the purple, and then we will play with some shimmers. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of build this way because I quite don't know if I wanna bring more green over or more purple over. So let's start with the lighter shades. We're gonna take this little brush here, and then I'm gonna go into, which would be shade seven, right? Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. Am I counting these wrong? There's only 10 shades in here. Where did I get 12 from? So we started with 10, <laughs> nine, eight. So now we're in seven. Oh my gosh. You might not want to hire me to be a bookkeeper if I can't count. 
shades and a palette. All right, so let's just go in the front here. This lightish kind of purplish blue. Mm, yeah, it's like a, it's giving me a, almost a purple feel. See, I've got like a lot of the, maybe it's more blue than purple. But the shimmer over top of it is purple. Mm -hmm, purple. So let's go like that. Yeah, I might bring the green over a little bit because I don't think we're going to use that darkest blue unless I want to use that in the bottom lash line. So I'm going to... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the blue and I'm going to add a little bit more green, I think. There we go. Right. I think that looks good. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to play with the sh shimmer. Shimmers, or as my makeup group likes to call them, shim shims. I like to call them shimmers. All righty, no judging. All right, so I'm going to put, yeah, so let's take the, okay, let's look at all the green shimmers to start. So I'm going to do it on this. So there is shade three. And this is the shade four. Ooh, that's pretty. And this is, she, ooh, this is, oh my god, that's gorgeous. And that is a shade number five. So yes, yeah, so let's take shade number five and put it along the edge and then fade in some of Hmm, that one. Okay, so I'm just going to go and grab a flat brush. We're going to go and do shade number five. This is so pretty. Like so, and I'm just going to give it a spray. I remember what, these ones didn't really need a spray, but... Maybe a smaller brush would have been better, hey? I have a small one here still. Smaller. Yes. Okay, let's go into a slightly smaller brush. It's a bit fluffier, but... Yeah, that fits just really nicely into the corner there of my eye. Where I have the dark. Just bring that a little bit. So. Mm. They're really pretty, hey? What do y'all think? A nice little palette. Yeah, I'm thinking I'd lean more towards this one than the Chucky one now that I've played with this one. All right, so now we're going to go into, yeah, let's do the lightest shade. So we're going to go and do shade three. I think that's the one that's going to do nicer. That's the one that's over the um, that lighter shade anyway, so I'm assuming they're supposed to kind of go together. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, that's gorgeous. I could have just done my lid with that and ran away. Like so. And then let's put a little bit on the flange and then see if that even makes it more, more intense. This is so nice. Yeah, I think this one you can, if you're not a fan of using your fingers for shimmers, these, this one definitely goes on absolutely stunning with a the brush. Excellent. All right. So last but not least, we're going to want to do a, because uh, we don't really, so this is, okay, let's just swatch them too. Why not? Try and get a clean finger here. So this is going to be shade number one. 
It's not like there's a million colors in here. So it's shade one, and that's definitely purple, purple, like a dark purple. And then this is the one that's actually over the blue, and that is very purple. That's the one that goes supposed to go with. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of that one. Let's kind of stick with the plan. And then again, I'm gonna go into the spray. Oh, so you can already see it. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I can. It's already on the brush. It's very, very shiny. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the one that's made to go over this. That way you can get a, depending on how you turn your eye, a blue to purple. Nice. Nice. All right, Martha, you need to do a look with this. This is so nice. Here we go. Right? I think for the inner corner, we're gonna end up using one of the um, highlighter ones, I think. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so now let's work on the bottom lash line here, and then I can clean that off later, just before I do my base, which I'll go off camera to do, and then we can do the so those are the five shimmers. And then might as well want to quickly before I do the bottom, then I can decide what I want to do in the bottom. So this one was number six. So let me just give it another, there we go. So it's like a, like these darks are like dark, like so it's like a dark navy base. Okay, and then there's, the, and then this one would be Number seven, like so. And then number eight, which was the lightest green that we used. I'm using a pinky, so that's why I didn't swatch well, so don't judge that. And then again, number nine, which I originally called number 11, because I'm an idiot. Do, 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 do. I guess because most of the time I think most palettes are like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, like that. There we go. Yeah, see when you swatch it, then you can see it's more of a green. But when I put it on my eye, like I said, they swatch, this one, these swatch really well. But once they go in your eye, they're even more intense. So that's them right there. So that's great. All right, so for the bottom lash line, let's do, let's do. Why don't we go green into blue? So I'm gonna take that really dark green that we started with, and just so I don't get any more, too, or too much more fallout, I'm just gonna spray a little bit. And then I'm gonna go, and I'll probably clean a little bit underneath because it's a little bit thicker than I want. I'm gonna bring a really small brush, which I should have done. Like so, and then I'm gonna go into the that darkest blue, so that is the the shade number six there. And do that up front. Like that, keep the bottom a little darker. Let's blend a little bit, and then I will go and uh, clean that up. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean that up, because I'm just gonna bring this a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make it that it matches that line. But at least this way, it's nice and blended with the two shades. And then I'll do my base, and then we can do highlighter and inner corner together. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we've got our base on. So now it's time to play with a little highlighter inner corner and then I will do a lip. I thought I could maybe do that on because it'll kind of fit our theme and then yeah and then I'll do my hair and have final thoughts. So first up let's play with inner corner. So here again look at how much fun this is. So this is the Scooby Doo highlighter. It is in these two shades here. If they have a color 
name. I don't have a box and I didn't see anything on there. So we'll just say the green and the pink and then we will, I've cleaned my arm off so we can re-swatch. So I'm just gonna go and grab a nice swatch of the first one. And then you can see it go like that. And then this, it seems almost rainbowy. Like I'm seeing pink and green in that one. And then this bottom one, I like the little bat sets in there. I love bats. And then, but this one, funny, so and this is the one that's on the bottom and this one that shows up more green. How strange is that? Can you see? Like this is the top one and it shows green here, but it's pinky here. And then this one shows more pinky here, but it shows more kind of greeny here. Interesting. Interesting. So we'll take the bottom one then and that's what we're going to stick onto our inner corner of our eye. And had I been really smart while I was off, I would have got a really small, nice brush. But we will just take this one here and then maybe we'll do a little bit more. Well, we'll see. There it pops up nicely on the brush and then let's Oh, yes. And then we're going to put that one right there. And then, yeah, so, and then also, like I said, I just cleaned up here and I got it to match up a little bit there. Just quickly did a clean there. And that's all I did on the eyes off camera. But now let's pop this, some more of this in here because this is beautiful. Oh, and I put a little highlighter on the top of my brow, but I think we may need a little bit more of the screen up here too. So let's, let's do that. Why not? Let's go all blingy. There we go. So that is that one. And then we're gonna take my favorite high, highlighter brush, which is my Kaleidos highlighter brush. And then we are going to, let's dip into the top one there because I do have a little pink blush on. And then as we use both of them, look at that, how pretty is that? Oh, wow, it's got this beautiful, like here it looks white, but to me it has this like pur purple. Oh, so pretty. It's quite the shifty highlighter. Oh yeah, look at that, kind of wet looking. Ooh, I like me a slutty highlighter. Mm. Mm. How pretty is that? It's very pink. So the top one that looks green is very super pink. And then the other one, let's put a little bit on that as well. Let's go super highlighty. And then this one, uh, a little closer to the top has a little bit more of a green tinge to it. A little closer to, yeah, see? Let's do that right underneath there. Super green. Wow. That is fun. But I'm just going to tone it down just a smidge. Just kind of like so. So a little, blend it in a bit. And there we go. Look at that. That is some crazy shine. And then I thought for lamps, doing kind of creaturey, I've got from um, the Halloween collection, I've got the Trixie and it's, I think, was it in Creature? Yes, in Creature. I had the lipstick and lip gloss. This is gorgeous green. So I thought maybe we could do this. <clears throat> so let's do it. And there we go. That's how pretty. I thought at first maybe put some of the gloss on top, but I wonder if we can just take a little bit of the highlighter on our finger. I mean, it's shiny, but oop. let's go and just take a little bit of that bottom shade, a little bit on a clean finger, grab as much as we can because we don't want to dip in again. And then Now you can be seen from space. <laughs> oh, 
All right, there we go. So let me do my hair and then come back and then we can have our final thoughts. Two seconds. And here we are all finished, hair done, a little bit of St. Patty's Day bling. So that was it. That was us playing with the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. I don't know if there was more pieces to it, but we got to play with the highlighter and we got to play with the palette. Again, thank you so much to my friend Martha for lending me these to play with. I absolutely love how this turned out. Got it. It's shimmery and shiny and dramatic and winged out. I like it. And the, um, the <laughs> highlighter at, on top of the lipstick is really cool too. Don't even feel it on there. It's a very, very light formula. And again, I know we put on a lot, but you can be seen from space, which I like with highlighter. Hey, it's a thing. What can I say? So, um, what do I think of Glam Light? So now I can give, because I've tried now two different palettes, and like I said, when we were playing with swatches, when my friend Martha was over and we were talking about the palettes, we had noticed that the Scooby-Doo had seemed to swatch better, but they both went on amazingly well. I do want to say that I think, I still think this one's a little bit better than the Chucky one, quality-wise. I think they're like... 100% 98 but like there's a little a small difference I think not a lot a little bit so if you're waffling between the two I think this this would be a slightly more versatile um but who doesn't like Chucky so there we go so um glam light quality is really good like I said you really can't go by swatches because the Chucky did really well but I do feel that this this one was a, t a smidge better quality. But then they're different colors, different formulations and different colors are sometimes um, more difficult to do. I'm not a chemist, so I don't know if that could be part of it. But I liked both sets very well. Um, I'm definitely interested in trying some uh, Glam Light when I'm off my no buy, um, putting them as one of the brands on my list to um, buy some products myself um so that's it for me if you like this video please give it a like comment and subscribe and maybe even hit that notification bell if not then that's okay we can have scooby snacks together um as always behave make good choices and we will talk to you soon Bye bye